everybody this is Janice welcome to my channel I am back with another card I am super super inspired by Pinterest I spend a lot of time on Pinterest do you leave me a comment let me know what do you pin on Pinterest I pin recipes scrapbook ideas home organizing organization ideas all kinds of stuff but I pin a lot of um, ideas for card making and so I found this one pen by Vicki Wisniuk I don't know if that's how you say it um, her her blog is with uh, wizardhangout.blogspot.com so just wanted to give her credit because that is where I got the idea for this card and so I just want you to know that it's okay to you know to get ideas from other places you don't always have to come up with the idea yourself because that's why we share on blogs and YouTube because that's how we crafty people are, I think. We just love to share ideas with each other. And that's why I love it. That's why I love to be on YouTube. So um, thank you, Vicki, for this great card. I really, really love it. I'm, I'm, I love this paper. I'll tell you, um, we have a kit that is called, and it comes with all the papers, all the embellishments, Sorry, it comes with twine, it comes with sequins, and I love it. This one's called Dreamin' Big. It's um, item uh, G1121, and it's the workshop your way. And when you go on my website and you click, you, you find this item, underneath it says download uh, instructions or something like that and what it is is it shows you how to make a bunch of projects like scrapbooking layouts I think like three double page and then cards and you still end up with extras so this is a great one I love the colors the colors featured are well on, on this paper it's um, let's see it tells you right on the branding strip it's black, glacier, gold rush, juniper, poppy, saffron, slate, sorbet, whisper, and white daisy. And those are like the colors of my life right here. This is me. This is me. This is all the colors I love to wear and to have around me. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is a standard A2 size card, which got really inked up here. I think I messed it up. But anyway, let's not focus on that. It is three, um, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just a half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet scored at four and a quarter. And that gives you a standard card and it'll fit in your envelopes, your standard envelopes. And so here's my card base. And this is a piece of slate cut to the size of the front of the card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and just put here this level or this layer down and if I didn't mention um, I'm also using the stamp set that goes with that coordinates with that paper pack um, it's called dreamin big card making bundle z3303 this bundle right here is 25% off so gotta love that um, and I'm using the inks poppy and slate and I'm using the Dreamin' Big little sequins, Z3315. Look at all of these. Look at all that you get. And they're already adhesive. They have the adhesive. They're self-adhesive. Okay, so that's a great idea. I love that we don't have to stick it down. And then the twine is the poppy twine, which I'm totally loving. I want to hoard it, but I'm not going to. Z3094. Okay. So, and then like I said, this is the slate paper. And then here is that paper. The other side has bugs. Oh, I love those bugs. I happen to like bugs, but not everybody does. Oh, and we don't want to glue this one down yet. Okay. 
Then on my Cricut, I cut out a three inch circle and we're going to do some stuff to the circle. We are going to stamp the sentiment and we're going to stamp the butterfly. And here is, here are the words. Okay, so we're gonna use the U. And this circle, if you can see here, is cut off. It goes off of the page, which is kind of a neat look, if um, you know what I mean. It just, I don't know, I really like it when stuff goes off the page like that. I hope you can see that there. And we're gonna stamp the word U in Poppy. And then we're gonna use Slate. Oh, and I need a gold rush as well. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this one's gold rush. It looks fabulously with the poppy. Okay, so let's get you stamped on here. I'm using my little foam piece because that really helps to give you a nice impression. You want to just have even pressure. Okay, and I see I smudged it right there because my fingers are really inky today. I've been playing all day doing stuff stuff done. Okay, and then I'm going to use the words. And I really wanted to say, thinking of you because you are so kind. I love that font. I love how it has scripty and print. It's really cute. Because you are because you are so kind. Nice. I love that. Okay, now we need to do our, our butterfly here. And we're going to do that technique where we get two colors. So I'm going to do the lighter color first, the gold rush. And then we're going to do the poppy. And I've already die cut the butterfly ahead of time. And I'm going to stick my head in so that I can stamp this evenly. And if it doesn't work out, oh, it did. I was going to say, if it doesn't work out, there is another side. And then we're going to adhere that there. So I'm just going to put adhesive just to that one side. Like that. Okay, and then we're going to take our Le Pen drawing. This is a great pen because it is um, pigment ink and it is permanent. So this is great for journaling too, for scrapbooking. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some doodly lines here. That always adds a little something. If you ever feel like, gosh, you know, I just feel like this needs something, try some doodly lines. And this part's gonna get cut off, so. And if they're squiggly and not straight, and that's good. That's what you want. You want it to look super charming. So that's gonna go on this layer here. And then we're gonna flip this over and just cut the excess of that circle off. Okay. And then that's gonna go there. But to add even more character and more t texture, we're going to use this thick twine in the poppy. It's Z3094. And here's a little trick that I like to do. I'm going to clean this off. This is just our, ooh, let's see, it's a two inch block. I do this with ribbon too. I use it to tie off. This allows you to tie it nice and tightly. 
course, you know, it's going to give me a problem because we're on camera. And then I'm going to cut it and trim it because I like it when these are all like frayed and all messy. And then I'm going to cut oh, about maybe here because it's not going to be right in the middle of the card. And then I'm going to position it here. My timer's about to go off. I don't know what sound it's going to make, so bear with me here. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to tape it in the back. Do you see how much we saved? Plus, you don't have to deal with the trouble of trying to tie this around something flimsy. So that's a little trick I've been doing for many years. Okay, and then we're gonna adhere this here. I'm going to start saying goodbye because I'm almost done. And what you want to do is um, visit my website. Check it out. Please, um, also, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so you can see my other videos. And leave me comments if you're new or if you've been watching for a while. Say hello. I love you guys' comments. We use some dimensional adhesive here. Ours comes in a roll like that. That's cool. And we're going to take it off and just pop it up here all the way to the edge. Then I'm going to use our little, these are great with a tweezer, by the way. These are our tweezers. Uh oh, this is not straight. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to tie. It's not, but I'm just going to add this little sequence here that, like I said, already have the adhesive on the back, which is really kind of neat. And, oh, and let's not forget, shimmer brush. I was telling my friend Tamara from Brooklyn about this. She was asking about glitter and I was telling her we don't have glitter but we have this and I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera but it is really super shimmery and you don't have to deal with glue. Uh oh there's a lot right there. <laughs> there's a lot. This glue, this um, ink is water soluble so you want to be careful with that but you see the shimmer so thanks for watching everybody see you next time